Hey guys, it's Becca the Bargainer back with the Dollar Tree haul. I went to two stores today and found some great items, so stay tuned if you're interested. So the first thing that I found was this beautiful canvas art, and I know a lot of you have been finding these at your Dollar Trees. This is perfect for our bathroom. Live, laugh, love at the beach, and it's just the perfect colors. Our rugs are a little bit darker than this, and it's just... I mean, it couldn't be more perfect, so I cannot wait to hang this in our bathroom. They had all different prints, and uh, yeah, really beautiful. So if you're looking for new art, they had like, they had some coffee ones, and there was a cow, and a Paris one, just all different kinds. So yeah, definitely check out your Dollar Tree. Got some more napkins. I got the bonus size, the 200 count. So yeah, I always try to pick that up. I also hand. found this LA Totally Awesome's Oxygen Cleaner, and I hadn't been able to find this recently, so I'm glad I found it because I was totally out. I always put a scoop of that with the whites. And I found more of these cloths, so I got three packs. These are the cleansing cloths, and guys, these are like comparable uh, cleansing cloths in the store are $3 or more. You know, so this is a really good deal at Dollar Tree, and I continue to pick them up. And they also work well as face wipes I have very sensitive skin and they work out really well. So I picked up two more of these gel for my husband. You may think, oh man, he goes through that really <laughs> a lot, but I like to stock up for him so we never run out. So this is what we get at Dollar Tree. It's a really good one and it doesn't flake and um, cause any like flaking on his shirt or anything. So that's always good. I found some new nails. These are such a pretty... Uh, design so I'm gonna hopefully put those on soon but it's kind of like got a glitter there's glitter nails and then there's um, just ge geometric designs on there so I got two of these really nice and they had a whole bunch of them that were new and I stocked up on deodorant I don't like to buy deodorant every time I go to Dollar Tree so usually I will stock up when I go that way I don't have to keep buying it every time <laughs> and I got a huge box of saltines this is a really good deal it's very comparable to you know the brands in the grocery store so that is a really good deal for one dollar and this is the last thing from my first haul because I have actually two different hauls um, but yeah this is uh, I got the instant nail glue for those nails so I got another one all right now on to the things from the second store I'm going kind of fast today but I was most excited about these things that I got because I got some new things that I had not seen I picked up this bag of bugles ranch flavored there's a three pack and yeah these are going to be great in my husband's lunch and maybe one for me <laughs> so yeah there were, I only found one pack of these because I probably would have bought more if I had found it but just one pack for lunches and then last time I did a haul I think it was I bought some of these Pizzetti crackers these are the Grana Padano and tomato these were so delicious so I got the other flavors, which I was very excited that they were still there at my store. I got the Emmentaler Tomato and Olive. And these are like a little bagel chip. They're so good. You guys got to try them. This one is the Emmentaler Tomato and Garlic. For my Goodwill Challenge this year, I already uploaded the video, but on my piano, I had this little bird feeder with um, some moss and eggs, and I thought it might be fun to have a little bird in there too. So check out that Goodwill Challenge if you have it, but I'm gonna add a little hummingbird and just kind of maybe glue it to, or just kind of stick it on the uh, bird feeder. And hopefully I'll insert a picture so you guys can see. But yeah, these are really cute and very lifelike. They look really, really lifelike. Got some more Fabuloso, and um, I was looking for floor cleaner the other day, and I didn't have any. I was like, what in the world? So I think I ended up using, I don't even know, dish soap? I'm not sure, but <laughs> I got some more of this stuff, and it's 30% more. Um, you know, you can possibly get this cheaper at Walmart, but whenever I see it at Dollar Tree, especially the Apple, I will pick it up. And I did pick up this really cute uh, baby photo prop set. There's all different ones they can use. So a uh, lady in my church just had a baby. I'm going to put this in the little basket that we're collecting for her. I got some mechanical pencils. These are bright and colorful. and It'll be really fun for when we do those variety puzzles or Sudoku or whatever. So I got some of these, and um, it's also nice to have them for my panel lessons when I write the assignments. I got another soap. 
the Jergens. This is the best smelling soap. When I was younger, whenever I went to the hairdresser, this is the smell of the soap they would use in my hair. It was a cherry almond soap and it just smelled so good. And um, anyway, I just love the smell of the soap and it's just a nice brand for a dollar. I have one in my kitchen um, next to the dish soap for my hands when I'm in there. So I really like to have that on hand. And I did pick up this tiny little four ounce bottle of Armorall. This is gonna fit nicely in my console, uh, in my car between the seats. And um, if I have like a spill or something, I can quickly clean it up because I am kind of klutzy in the car. I'm spilling stuff all the time. <laughs> and it is nice to have something that's a cleaner. So um, I thought this would be good. So just a handy dandy armor all cleaner. So yeah, I'm that. so pumped about some of these, these last things that I got. First, I'm just going to show you a couple more things. And then I've got four items that I cannot wait to show you. Oh, these kind of got squished. Oh well. <laughs> these are the oyster crackers. These are so yummy. So I got another bag of those for soup that we're going to have coming up. And then I was out of candy for my piano students. I like to give them a piece of candy if they're good and they listen. So I got these Chupa Chups lollipops. They're delicious. Sometimes I even sneak one. And also Smarties. A bag of Smarties. And you have to be really careful because they do have the bonus size there. So always check to be sure you're getting the biggest bag. So the almond windmill cookies. And these also, I think one or two got crunched. I'm just going to try one for you guys to see what it tastes like. I've always been curious. In the two years that I've been going to Dollar Tree, almost two years I've been going to Dollar Tree and hauling, I've seen these and I've never picked them up. So I'm going to try them for you to see how much they compare to other ones that I've tried. exactly like the ones I had when I was a kid. We would get them at the grocery store. I used to love these as a kid and these taste just like them. So yay, just for one buck. That's an awesome deal. Okay guys, are you ready for this awesome, awesome <laughs> item? Actually, there's four of them. I know I just put up a video about cookbooks, but I found four books I could not pass up. Only for a dollar each. So let me put this cookie down and I will get them over here. The first book that I got, I mainly got it with my mom in mind because she loves gardening and she loves gardens. And so this is called The Essentials of Garden Design. And it has pretty detailed design information about how to make a beautiful garden. And I mean, this is pretty amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, pictures and this is this book was made by John Brooks it says John Brooks is one of the most original and creative garden designers in the world he, he is known for more than 1200 gardens he has designed worldwide so he has his own garden in Sussex England as well as the south of France and Japan so there's over 250 garden plans and photo and photographs in full color and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I mean, this is such a nice, nice book. And let me see if I can find a price. Yeah, it's a $35 book. Just a really nice book for how much? $1. And then I got three cookbooks. Now, I don't know that I'm gonna actually keep them. It depends if my husband wants to keep them, but I found some really, really nice ones. And these were also worth a lot more. This one is worth $35. And, ooh, this part is ripped. I think it got, the outer sheath or whatever got ripped. But anyway, um, this says family table, favorite staff meals from our restaurants to your home. The pictures in here are absolutely amazing. The cookbook is just gorgeous. A lot of, it looks like an Italian restaurant, pasta dishes. Um, look at this, guys. Swordfish with a mint vinaigrette. Yeah, so this is a really nice book and for one buck, I couldn't The buy. last book that I got, I found two of them and they are in excellent condition. And this is such a beautiful cookbook. I cannot believe that I found this cookbook. $27.50. It's called Homemade with Love. And it's a large, large book. Yeah, it's a pretty large book, but look at that beautiful picture on the front. 
Yeah, and this is um, Jenny's Kitchen, Jennifer Perello. And you open it up, and there's like a little excerpt of, oh, <laughs> apple cheddar and pancetta panini. Yeah, so this book is just so lovely. I just think this is so nice. If you can find this book, I would definitely pick it up. And so I did get two of them. So we'll see what I do with them. Um, I may be giving one away soon in a giveaway. We'll see. I definitely am close to 4,000 subscribers. So I, I'm thinking I might want to do one of these in a giveaway because it's just a really, really nice book. So, um, yeah. Anywho, sorry to keep the suspense up there. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed my haul today. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't checked out my Secret Life of a Dollar Tree Hauler tag, definitely check it out. There's several people that have participated in that uh, tag, and all of those people are listed in that video on my channel. So definitely check out that tag. It's a lot of fun, and it's so much fun to listen to other people's answers. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.